The stone! The builders rejected has become a capstone. Hello, my friend, and welcome to the Gospel Hour with David. Glory be to God, Jesus Christ is alive, and he has gathered us together here today. And yes, he's coming soon. He's coming soon. Psalm 118. When was the last time you read Psalm 118? Oh, Lord, give thanks Excuse me. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Thank God the, the Lord's steadfast love lives forever. I want, I want to make it clear today, because there is a great infant, uh, infiltration of Muslim worshipers, worshipers of Allah, and the false prophet, that's the thing, is when anybody comes to you, a, a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and then begins proclaiming that you are a false prophet, while never saying anything bad or truthful about the devil's true prophet, who is Muhammad, and is right now rotting in hell. All the followers and worshipers of Allah and Muhammad are not going to heaven. No way, no chance. You will never enter the kingdom of heaven. In fact, all the followers of Muhammad and Allah are rotting in the eternal fires of hell right now. And this is why Islamic worshipers come into Christian groups claiming that everybody and anybody preaching from the gospel of Jesus Christ is a false teacher. That's why they do that. One, they don't believe in the anointment of God. They don't believe in the word of God. And they hate Jesus Christ. They hate him. And not only do they hate Jesus Christ, they're going to hate you as well. They're going to persecute you. They're going to break you down. They're going to do everything they can to destroy your credibility, your name, and your good work. Because they hate Jesus. They will never speak a word against the devil's prophet who is Muhammad. And by the way, is rotting in the eternal fire of hell today. They won't say a word against that. They will not bring him to the threshing floor so the truth may be known about his wickedness. Child molester and a murderer, period. God would never use a child, and a child molester and a murderer to convey something good to the world. Even though Paul was a chief of sinner, he had a complete transformation of his life. Like he said, I did it out of ignorance. I didn't know. But once I knew, once I wasn't ignorant anymore, I trans 
transformed my life. And it wasn't like he did. The power of the Holy Spirit transformed him. People who come to Jesus, come to God, and then go out actively molesting children, raping and murdering and pillaging the world. In the name of God, you are Satan. And the followers of Satan. The people who follow after Muhammad and Islamic religion engage in the works of slander. They're always gossiping. They're forever in endless debates, always trying to learn, but never coming to a place of understanding. Never. They deny and reject Jesus Christ constantly, constantly, day after day, day after day. The persecutions are, are going to grow. I know for a fact, <clears throat> this last year I've been persecuted more than I've ever been persecuted because I bring to you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Persecuted. Spent two years talking to an Islamic slave. Patiently enduring many testings, many trials, many persecutions, all in the hopes to save one. And in the end, I found out the word of God is believable and true. There is absolutely no association, friendship, or mingling with darkness and light. None. You cannot be friends with them. You, you cannot even engage with them in any sort of simple conversation because the hatred within them is so strong they can't even hear you speaking. All they can hear and all they can see is the opportunity to tear you down. And we got to be ready for that. All the word of God is God breathed and is useful for correcting and training in righteousness. For rebuking. Many people think that Christians aren't allowed to rebuke. Many people believe that Christians aren't allowed to kill. But the Bible is clear, thou shalt not murder. Murder is the taking the life of the innocent. But if you are not innocent, purging the land of your wickedness and evil is not a sin. In fact, God says the reason you don't purge the land of wickedness and evil is because you don't believe in his steadfast love. It's okay to love your children. It's okay to love your mothers and your fathers, your wives and your husbands. It's okay to love them, to protect them, and to honor them with the heart of protection. It's okay to defend your family. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to say to wicked and evil people, what you're doing is wicked and evil and, and it's harmful to everybody involved. You know, there's a thing going on in America and it's happening here in Colorado. And that is the, the attack against the people. The United States government is attacking the people. And how do I know? Because there's only one thing inside the United States that can be and is declared to be the legal tender of our economy. And that's the dollar bill. It says right on there, this is legal tender for all debts, both private and public. 
There is no other legal tender other than that. And why isn't it an attack on the people? Because when we're approaching numbers of 60 to 70 million people who are jobless, also are bankless. To say that we have a shortage in change when 50 some million people are jobless, you know every one of them went and cashed in their piggy banks, their change. We had enough change in circulation for when those 50 million people were working, spending their money, and, and transferring things. There was not a problem with change then. But now that they've all been removed from their jobs, removed from their bank account, removed from their income, now all of a sudden we don't have any change. And, and who controls the change? Who's hoarding it? Who's melting it down? Who's making sure nobody has the ability to use money? Who? Who is doing that? And why are they doing that? They're doing that so they can attack the people. I don't trust Donald Trump anymore because you're a fucking coward. I don't trust any one of you anymore. Because you abandoned God for two pennies. I don't trust any of you anymore. None of you. I don't even know why you're listening to me when I don't trust you. What will you do with this? Anything good? Will you take it and apply it to your life? Transform your life and become something good? I don't think so. There's not an ounce of evidence of that happening in our world today. I don't think so anymore. I lost trust in you people. Because you won't stand up for anything that is good. Hitler proved to the world there's only one way out of communism and that's through death. There's only one way out of Islam, and that's through death. And they proved it's true. So why are we going to sit back like a pack of yellow belly cowards and allow them to devour our children, our mothers, and our fathers? Why would we do that? Unless we were completely filled with fear and unbelief in God. Even David said to the Goliath, you come in the name of yourself. You come in the power of your own might. You come bearing a shield, a sword, and a spear. But I come in the name of God. And it is today I'm going to feed your body to the birds of the air and to the beast of the field, we are going to devour every last uncircumcised Philistine because you have defied the God of Israel. And the whole world knows today there is a God on earth because David showed faith. Where is your faith today? Where is it? Where is your faith today? Let Israel say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in tri triumph on all those 
who hate me. Everybody who hates me, David Cecina, hates Jesus Christ, the one who sent me. You reject me. You reject Jesus Christ. You slander me. You break me down. You want to persecute me. You're slandering Jesus Christ. You're persecuting Jesus Christ. You're breaking him down. Better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in a man. Better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in Donald Trump. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in congressmen and senators. <coughs> All nations surrounded me in the name of the Lord. I cut them off. They surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They went out like a fire among thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Glad songs of salvation are in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord exalts. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. Jesus Christ is the right hand of the Lord. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lord, the God of gods. Jesus Christ is God's word. Alive in flesh. Faith, absent of deed, is dead. Faith, absent of the Holy Spirit, is dead. Dead. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. The gate, this is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. <coughs> Jesus <coughs> reconfirms. His message. Who's going to enter into the kingdom of heaven? No one but the righteous. There are no murderers in heaven. There are no sorcerers in heaven. There are no palm readers in heaven. There are no fortune tellers in heaven. There are no slanderers in heaven. There is no hypocrites in heaven. There are no bad people in heaven. The sexually immoral are not in heaven. Not in heaven. Those who engage in drunkenness, rioting, and debauchery are not in heaven. God is not using them to do anything. Rather, it is the devil using them only to destroy you, your family, your sanity, and your faith. The thief comes. The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what the thief does. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. Unless our righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the lawyers, and the scribes, we will never enter into the kingdom of heaven. You can't earn your way into heaven. It's a gift given to God's chosen people as a reward for their righteousness. 
And what is righteousness? Because I believed. Because I believed in God. I believed that there are wicked and there are evil doors out in the world who need to be stopped. Not, not for malicious sake, not for revenge, but because I care for the well-being of my neighbors and my family members. Period. Period. Because I care. The stone that the builders has the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The stone the builders rejected. God laid a stone in Zion. <laughs> A stone of offense. It's offensive to many. The gospel, Jesus, his name, his works, his deeds, his love for you offends them. And this is why they're always constantly trying to slander or break down your credibility, your character, and your faith in God. They despise you because of what God has done for you. And it's hard to swallow. But be prepared, the persecution of Christians is going to get really bad. They'll reject Jesus Christ, but they won't reject Mohammed. This is evidence that these Islamic People coming into Christian groups only to tear down the Bible, its credibility, and the people who preach the Bible. Of course, if anybody's a false prophet, he's preaching from the gospel of Jesus Christ. But Mohammed, Satan's prophet, <coughs> who's riding in hell today, never have nothing bad to say about that guy. Never have nothing bad to say about a murderer. A rapist, a child molester, a person who goes in and tears down other people's security, their homes, their families. Oh, for the sake of their own pride. Sake of Satan's deception. Who is the Antichrist? He who doesn't believe. <coughs> Jesus Christ has already come in the flesh. <coughs> That's why they reject you. <coughs> That's why they hate you. They don't believe Jesus Christ is with you. They don't believe he is the Messiah. They don't believe he is the Lamb of God who comes into the world to take away sin. In fact, the same people rejecting Jesus Christ also don't believe slander is sin, murder is sin, such sexual immorality is sin, debauchery is sin, and rioting is sin. They don't believe that. Because if they believed it was sin. They would have to admit what they are doing is displeasing to God. It's for that reason. They reject Jesus Christ, the gospel, and his apostles, prophets, preachers, and teachers. They will never reject Islam or Muhammad, the devil's prophet, but they only come to reject those who love Jesus Christ. That's a sign you're dealing with the Antichrist. We are to have no association with them. You are not to friend them. You're not to talk to them. In your heart and in your mind, they should be as dead as dead can be. Let them perish in their sin.
This is the Lord's doing. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. When Abraham saw my day, he rejoiced and was glad in it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. Save us, we pray, O Jesus Christ, our Lord of Lords, our God. Save us from the hand of the evil. We see it. They are like bees, a swarm of bees, like a swarm of locusts come in to devour everything while hurting everyone. In the name of the Lord, Cut them off. In the name of the Lord, you will be saved. As soon as you repent from your evil doings. Save us, we pray, O Lord. We pray, give us success. Not money, not wealth, not good health, but success. Be successful in saving us and delivering us out of the hands of these wicked and evil doers. Be successful, Father, as David was successful when he took down Goliath. Walk with us, Jesus, so we do not perish. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed we bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords, the God of Gods. There is no Savior outside of Jesus Christ. No one can deliver you from out of the fire in the way Christ can. Jesus is God. There's no other God. These people who come in and try to attack the name of Jesus, or it, which was written in Greek, Jesus is English. Same person, the Greek name is Jesus. Jesus. Because nobody believed in Jesus. God, not Zeus, but Jesus, the God of the Bible. The Lord is God. The Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Capstone, is God. That's why they come in and attack the name of Jesus Christ. This is why there's no other name written in the New Testament, because there is no other God outside of Jesus Christ. None. None. And everybody and anybody who tries to convince you that there is another God outside of Jesus Christ, they are trying to deceive you. They're trying to murder you. They're trying to break down your faith and what you already know is the truth. The truth. The Lord is God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Do you understand why Islamic people come into Christian social media groups and then begin to attack the people who come in the name of the Lord, who come in the name of Jesus Christ? Do you know why they attack them? They hate Jesus, and they hate you too. They want to kill you. They want to destroy you. They want to steal from you. But they do not want to see you saved. They are persecuting you. They are persecuting the Word of God. They are persecuting Jesus Christ still to this day because they refuse to believe. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Muhammad came in the name of Satan. And yet you will not say to that wicked evildoer, cursed are you and everybody who follows you. Why won't you say it? Yellow belly cowards. That's why you won't say it. You yourself are fighting and struggling to believe that God is going to punish the wicked. And why are you struggling to believe that? Because you know within your own heart what you're doing is wrong. And if you admitted it was wrong, that means you must change. And you don't want to change because you love what you're doing. The Lord is God. He has made his light shine on us. Bind the festal, bind the festal sacrifices with cords up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will give to you, I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. He is good. And his steadfast love endures forever. His steadfast love endures forever. Whatever is abundant within your heart is the truth. And if the abundance within your heart is evil, and wicked and, and you're repaying good people with evil deeds you're not full of the Holy Spirit and you're not saved yet because the Lord is good the Lord doesn't engage in slander the Lord doesn't engage in gossip because the Lord is good the Lord doesn't engage in debauchery and rioting, theft, murder, and destruction because the Lord is good. Because the Lord is good. Let us be imitators of God, imitators of Jesus Christ. Why? Because he's good and his steadfast love endures forever. Narcissists, people filled with Jezebel spirit, people filled with legions of demons are, are in a place of complete confusion and chaos because everything they see, everything they hear is a lie. It's a lie because that's what their master delivers to them. Lies and deception. The devil has been a liar and a murderer from the very beginning, and his children are liars and murderers. That's what they do. And there is a great evil inside of the United States when you start to use the only legal tender inside of the United States against the very people of the United States by taking it away. 50 million people don't have bank accounts, credit cards, ATM cards, which there's nowhere on any credit card or ATM card in the entire country that says this is legal tender. Nowhere. Why do they do that? Because legal means law abiding. And there's a wicked force of evildoers who want to erase the law. Why? Because they are lawless, wicked, evil people. And there's only one way out of both communism and Islam.
and that's their death. And anyone who dies for the Lord's name's sake, even though his body dies, he himself will never die.